Today I will be teaching us how to do a Cochrane skew test. It is an extension of McNema test. Here we are going to test the knowledge of the students on pollution before providing awareness, after providing awareness and later a follow up. To do Cochrane skew test, move on to analyze scroll down to non parametric test from there move on to legacy dialogues from there move on to k related samples so select all the variables with the help of shift key place it in the test variables let exact be as such you need not change move on to statistics check descriptives click continue uncheck Friedman click Cochrane skew and then click OK so the results appear on the screen so the sample size is 15 the respective mean value for pre post and follow their respective standard deviation minimum and maximum value so in the case of frequency in the pre the number of respondents who replied in negative is 7 and those replied in positive is 8 the case of post it is 9 and 6 but in the follow up 6 replied in negative and 9 replied in positive so one year refers to yes and zero is no so how to interpret the test statistics the n year is 15 Cochrane skew is 1.167 year the alphabet a is here so a one is treated as success that will come to it later your p value is greater than 0 0.05 so there isn't much difference among the pre post and follow now we are coming back to a one is treated as success now to find that we can get back to the data where you can see the tenth respondent has replied in positive that is one one and one that is he, he or she has told yes they are aware even before and after giving training that's why one is treated as success over there now how to interpret for that I am getting back to the word file over here Cochrane skew is a non parametric test for testing three or more dichotomous variables measured on the same set of respondents if Cochrane skew test result is not statistically significant it indicates the percentage of respondents are the different time points of awareness level or different treatments or different situations are the same in the group then post hoc test is not required however if it is statistically significant then a post hoc test can be done to find where the difference exists in the case of post hoc this particular video has already been done which can be checked over this is how you have to interpret in your project thank you for listening